have is the user obviously it's a decentralized chat application where we have to keep the informations about those user who will register okay so that's the first data set the second data set we have is the friends okay so that particular individual that user is friend with whom hey all of you hope you guys are great so finally yesterday we have uploaded another project video on a decentralized chat application and you guys are absolutely loving it the response i'm getting is absolutely amazing but in this video i'm not here to talk about that what project we have built yesterday okay in this video i will talk about that how should you structure your entire application because you have seen me that how smoothly i'm coding the entire application without stucking anywhere i'm writing the smart contract i'm building the front end i'm using the packages but how i came into the situation to do that so smoothly okay so that's what i'm going to talk about because before you write a single piece of code in your applications and before you have an idea and you think that this idea is good i can build the project on this but before you write a single piece of code you, you have to keep few things in mind okay you have to have your structure which you have to follow for your entire application okay so this is the structure i follow because being a blockchain developer being a smart contract developer you have to have your own because in the blockchains you have to keep the things in the security reentrancy it's about the money okay it's about the gas fees okay so these are the variables you have to keep in mind if you want to become a high paying smart contract developer or a good developer okay so that's what i'm going to talk about and this is the structure which i personally follow before i jump straight away writing the contract okay so i'll take you to my computer screen and i will show you the entire process that how i do generally so the question is what should be the structure for the smart contract so before i start explaining about the entire structure part i want to give you one example i want you to meet my friend mohan he's a newly blockchain developer he learned all the latest technologies frameworks and he building applications so recently he got a new project idea and he's very excited about it and this is the case happens with most of the new developer okay so they got excited and they start building the project without thinking about the project in terms of scalability security data types and what kind of things they can do in the future okay so these are the things you have to keep in mind and this is where most of the new developers lack okay I, I can tell you this because i was in the same shoe okay when i was learning i had the same problem and because of that i wasted a lot of time so here i want to you to save your time while building application while learning this technology so this slide is a perfect example of your smart contract this house is your smart contract and these are the broken pieces of that smart contract so and this is you you have to be very selective whatever you're going to place inside your house and you have to place it in such a way in that way it not cause any damage and everything will fit together in that okay so you have to be so creative you have to be so conscious about all the things because whatever you're going to put in that that's going to be the stake of the user it could be money it could be any kind of sensitive data so you have to be very careful on that okay so how are you going to lay down the structure because if you look all the contracts which we have on different blockchains they have a specific structure they have keeping specific data some contract they keep money ethers some contract keep the information about the nfts so every contract have its own structure and that structure based on the type of data they have defined in that application okay so this house is your contract so if i asked you that what data structure we had exactly follow in our decentralized chat application because that's the perfect example to understand how the data structure is getting designed in our solid smart contract and i'm going to take that as an example to explain you the entire concept of the data structure and picking up all the variables data storage okay that will give you a broader sense because recently you have built that project okay so that chat application is divided in three data set so the first data set we have is the user obviously it's a decentralized chat application where we have to keep the informations about those user who will register okay so that's the first data set the second data set we have is the friends okay so that particular individual that user is friend with whom okay so that's the second data set the third data set we have is the messaging obviously it's a chat application so they will communicate with other one another so that's the third data set okay so that entire contract is going to be revolved around this three data set okay and we're going to divide into furtherly okay so we have this three data set user friend and messaging okay now let's jump to the next slide and the next slide we have is the unique identifier okay what do i mean by that what is unique identifier in the solid smart contract so the unique identifier means how we are storing the data in the contract so generally we have three options to store the data so the first one we have is mapping i believe that you guys are familiar with it that if you put anything inside the mapping you will give the unique identifier and you will get the data back so this is the one way to storing the data in the contract 
with the help of mapping the second way we have is the help of array okay it will work in the same way you will throw the unique identifier and will give you the data okay and the third way we have is the event okay so these are the three ways we have which we can use to access the data into a smart contract okay so these are the three unique identifier in which we can keep the data together and we can pull it together together so what we have covered first we have defined the design the data structure then we have found out that what and unique identifier we have to use okay so here we have to be very selective that you whether you're going to store the data in the event because if you use event in your contract that sometimes cost you higher gas fee okay so there you have to be very conscious when you design the contract you have to add even only in those places where it's mandatory okay you have to avoid those places which is not that necessary okay because obviously you're going to do all the transaction will happen on the blockchain though it will the price of the gas piece will go high okay so you have to be very conscious that when you have to use the event okay first data set then we have the unique identifier for storing the data now let's move to the next one so the next one we have is the data types in contract okay as you know that all the programming language have their own data type okay in the same way sorority has their own data type one data type will cost you less money and other will cost you higher money and the perfect example of this is the string okay so if you use string as a straight variable that will definitely cost you higher gas fee when you will deploy and when you do will the, when you will do the transaction but in the same way if you use the byte byte 32 that will cost you less so you have to know that what kind of data types we have to use in the contract for storing the data and for pulling the information okay so what type of data types we have generally in the contract so we have generally five top data types we have array we have boolean we have unt we have address we have int and we have two more we are sorry i forgot to add this string and byte okay seven data types we have okay so you have to be very selective that which data type you want to use okay so once we have the like what kind of data we have to structure then we have the unique identifier now we have the data identified okay so we have got the three part now let's move to the fourth one and this one we have the functions obviously without function your contract is useless and function is one of the biggest things in the contract and you can see there is so many variables goes into the functions like internal external public private pure const view payable returns types event modifier so you have to keep all these things in mind that whether you should include a private or a public or external or a const and why you should include what what consequences or what impact it will create on the function in terms of execution okay so there is a lot of things goes into that once you finalize and test okay this this one i have to pick public this internal I have to pick okay so when you write the smart contract you have to pick each one of these variables and according to that you have to return data and keep it private keep it constant okay first we have the storage second we have the unique identifier third we have the data types and fourth we have the functions okay you can see how easily we are breaking down the entire smart contract okay and now after that comes the performance so you have to optimize your code that you have to check your that your code is perfectly readable like when you will do the transaction or import it will cost money okay so you have to optimize the gap please you have to keep the keep things about the security that is it vulnerable for any hack so you have to know about all the hacks which already exist like re-entrancy self-destruct so there is a close to 20 to 15 hacks are there which you have to keep in mind then comes to the gas okay so you have to check every single variable which you have defined okay so i'm if i'm using this variable it costs me this if i use this it cost me that okay so you have to keep that in mind then you have to come out the data okay so obviously you're going to pull the data from your smart contract and if you are building a decent chat application then you need data from the contract which you can display to your user so you have to find a proper way which can use to find the data okay so as we all know that include adding loops in the contract is not a good idea at all because it will exhaust your entire gas fee okay so you have to know that you have to be very clever you have to be very very conscious when you have defined your data type that whether you want to pull the data in terms of event whether you want to have a data in terms of array or mapping okay so that's the data and now we have an options okay so option means 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 you have to keep in mind that what what problem your user can create in your application okay so you have to keep those things in mind in advance okay these are the user can create this kind of problem in this function so instead of i'm asking the address they can provide a number okay so that's the error okay those are the logic you have to think okay and after analyzing all of these things finally 
you have structured your entire smart contract okay so that's the entire things goes into a smart contract development you have to break it every single thing into a smart contract if you want to write good and secure smart contract okay so this is the general structure which i follow for every single my project first i design the entire layout all the data types all the data structures that what ui i'm going to follow what contracts i'm going to use what libraries i'm going to use whether i have to use it or not what kind of impact it's going to create if i use the external libraries whether i can pull the price of the ethers from the uh in inside the contract or from the javascript okay libraries so these are the things you have to keep in mind if you really want to become uh, effective blockchain developer okay so if you have this level of if you have this kind of understanding uh, in your contract you definitely will build a powerful tools which can help a lot of people okay and you will be highly respected okay so i don't want to extend this video too long because i was getting this question that how to become a perfect impactful blockchain developer so i thought let's make a video on this where i can share my personal point of view that what exactly i follow when i build any kind of applications so hope this video help you and i will share you this presentation if you guys really want so do leave me in the comment section yes so i can show you the entire pdf so you can keep always in your like bedroom while developing the smart contract okay so hope you, this video will help you and you will so hope this video will help you and that's it if you are new to my channel hit like and subscribe that will motivate me a lot and that's the only thing i want to share with you all of you so have a wonderful day bye bye